Glasgow College was formed from the merger of three previous colleges back in 2010 and at that point we were operating out of 11 different buildings spread right across the city. This is a £228 million project so it's a big big project. It's a lot of money that's been secured uh, via the private sector and I think it's a real demonstration of the confidence that people have in City of Glasgow College. The difference between our twin campus uh, new sites and what we have at the moment will just be absolutely night and day, just no comparison. Our new buildings have been designed to be industry standard, technology saturated, really creative, innovative learning environments. The design will be the first thing, of course, that people recognise. It's a fantastic design and both inside and outside, it's really quite I think quite stunning. The interior features is really where we've particularly focused to create the best possible learning environment. It'll have the most modern equipment and of course the most modern technology. Across the college, the way we work, I think there will be a, a number of differences. The big open plan offices mean that we'll all be in, a, in one workspace together, which will necessitate us changing the way we behave in those workplaces. It's a real opportunity to to work better together, but still will bring demands that we change uh, the way we've worked in the past. There'll be a lot of features that are unique learning resources to City of Glasgow College. So for example, on the Riverside campus, we will have one and a half million pound 360 degree ship simulator suite that will be able to simulate um, the bridge of a super tanker, the bridge of a cruise liner, the bridge of a submarine, the bridge of any kind of, of, of seagoing vessel um, in any harbour um, just about across the world. So it's really simulating the bridge and engine facilities of, of a very, very large ship. On City we'll have a real state-of-the-art television production studio. The new studio will be bigger. It's 250 metres squares as opposed to the 160 metres we enjoy just now. It will be properly soundproof. The acoustic build is really strong. It's a proper sound stage. There'll be no sound coming in from around and about. It will be properly balanced and baffled as well. We'll have a new lighting rig. We'll have the most sophisticated talkback operation across all our production spaces. We'll have a floor screed to the perfect tolerance for rolling cameras across. We'll have three brand new cameras. We'll have uh, a whole new cabling infrastructure, which will make our old one seem rather tired and tangled. So everything is, is built with employability in mind and our employment partners in mind. The existing campuses um, who you know have served as well for, for many, many years will either be demolished or sold. So at the moment you'll notice some big for sale signs outside many of our existing buildings and we're in the process of receiving bids for those buildings. So the North Hanover Street Tower, the Charles Oakley Building, um, our annexes in Rogart Street, Florence Street and Dorner Street are all on the market at the moment. The Town Head Building where a lot of our food and hospitality provision is will be demolished once the new campus is ready. And the building we're sitting in right now in Riverside will also be demolished and that process will start at the end of this year. So many people will be sad to see the buildings go, but at the same time, you know, I think the promise of what the new campus buildings offer is, is really exciting for everybody. We are looking forward to moving into our Riverside campus in about 100 days time. So on the 17th of August this year, um, we'll take possession of the new Riverside teaching facilities. Then on the 30th of August this year, our new Halls of Residence facility down on Riverside campus will be handed over. And then we'll go through the whole of the, the same next year when in August 2016, City campus, which is a much larger scale, um, will be ready for us to migrate into. In maintaining the new campuses, we have entered into a contract for what's called hard facilities management. It's a particular and quite complex form of uh, contract we have. It covers the design, financing, building, and then the future maintenance of the, of the buildings. We also have something called a life cycle contract, which makes sure that all of our furniture and our learning resources, our desks and our chairs, and our infrastructure of that kind will be replaced on a regular basis so that the buildings keep looking good and you know, generations of students to come have the same positive learning experience as the students who come into a brand new building. 
I've grown very fond of this old building. Uh, when I first worked here, I wasn't overly enamoured with it, but having spent you know a number of years here, I've come to quite like this this old 60s thing. I will be hugely excited and also hugely relieved <laughs> once we've moved into Riverside Campus and then City in the following year. It's been a fantastic but very challenging experience helping to to run this project. Um, so yes, I, I will be massively relieved, but this year I'll just be massively relieved for two minutes and then we'll move on to City Campus and the completion there. So really looking forward to the building's opening. I think we'll all be just a little bit busy getting used to what our new buildings are like.